So the way queries work with um, most NoSQL databases, again, they tend to be imperative programs rather than declarative queries and expressions. In a number of NoSQL databases, a, a very important concept is the notion of, of a distributed uh, query approach called map reduce. So here is an example using uh, actually more of a more of a word problem scenario. Imagine we're in the Empire State Building and that we are analysts in the mobile telephony space. And because we're analysts, we want to have our own data samples. We want to get a reading on market share of the different major smartphone platforms that are out there. So we might want to get a sense of what percentage of the market is using uh, uh, various platforms like iPhone and Android and, and Windows Phone, BlackBerry, WebOS, and even Symbian. And because the Empire State Building is so big, it actually has its own five-digit zip code, we have the idea that tallying up um, the number of handsets in each platform in the building would give us an accurate read of the market. Now that may or may not be true scientifically, but I'm going to ask you to uh, just sort of give me the, the benefit of the doubt here. Now, if we had as sort of one team, if we had to go sequentially to a, each floor in the building, obviously this counting exercise would be uh, pretty tough and laborious. By the time we finished it, we might be one quarter out of date. So clearly we don't want to do things that way. But imagine instead if we had a team of people and that that team could fan out across all the floors in the building. We could send one person to each floor and tell that person to go into each suite on the floor that he or she is assigned to and just on a piece of paper put a name of a platform and the total number of handsets as well as the suite number. So we have suite number, platform, and number of handsets. We do that for each suite and each person does this on each floor. Okay, now we end up having a lot of slips of paper, right? In effect, we could have up to six slips of paper per suite. So we need to collect these all in one place. And um, there are actually mail chutes in the Empire State Building. They're closed up, but imagine they were still in use. And we could just drop all those slips of paper into the mail chutes, and they would all collect downstairs in the lobby. And imagine we had a couple more people in the lobby waiting for those sheets, and we had them collate all those slips into, in effect, six piles, one for each of the platforms, one for each of the smartphone platforms. And we put those piles in manila folders. Now we have six folders for the six platforms, and we decide to send two folders to the 10th floor, two more to the 20th, and two more to the 30th. And that our folks who are counting on those floors will um, then do double duty. They'll wait for the two folders to come up. They'll open a folder, and for all the slips of paper, they're going to count all the numbers on the slips of paper in a given folder, get a grand total, and then write down on a piece of paper the name of the platform and the grand total. They'll do that for the second folder as well. And so each of the three floors will have a tally sheet, and each tally sheet will have the totals for two different smartphone platforms. We'll then um, have those guys run those tally sheets up to our uh, workroom up near the top of the building, and we'll copy the two uh, data points from each piece of paper into a single spreadsheet. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is MapReduce. Specifically, the work of counting that went on on each individual floor at the beginning, that's what's called the map step. And then the work involved in doing the tallying uh, uh, tasks on the 10th floor, the 20th floor, and the 30th floor, that's the reduce step. And we can do things pretty quickly this way, because if you think about the map step, we have 102 people, one on each floor, all doing the counts at the same time. And because they're all doing the same thing, we can, in effect, write a single platform, excuse me, a single program, and tell each of our counters to uh, go ahead and do that bit of work on their little bit of data. It's a nice way to divide and conquer, and it's something that is very big in the big data space, but it's also uh, relevant to 
NoSQL in general, whether or not it's a big data scenario.